How are you guys doing? Don't forget in the chat, don't forget to do, there's a new Rocket giveaway um, for one of their more expensive mechanical keyboards. So um, you can rack up your coins by uh, just by watching the stream and um, thinking you're the guide, I believe, to the Twitch. And then you can start racking up coins just by being here, which gives you extra tickets for that giveaway. So good luck to people that are getting involved in that. That giveaway should end, I think it's next Monday, I believe. So good luck. And um, anything else in my world that I need to talk about? Not really. Um, I'm keeping up with uh, two episodes a day now on YouTube and been maintaining that for a little while. So I hope you guys have been enjoying me uploading those videos up onto YouTube as well. And next week as well, we've got the longer streams next week today, Thursday. Next Thursday for about a week or so, we've got um, longer streams. So make sure you book that in your diary. Bizzleberry is going to be on super early. At weekend equivalent times. So there's going to be longer streams next week for about a week. I hope you guys can join me and, and watch the streams and then join me there. Um, anyway, so in this matchup down here, bot side, we've got Tristana, Alistair. And we've got Lucian on the team, which is okay. Um, it's a bit tricky to know what exactly to pick here because Alistair's pretty good in lane anyway. I don't want to focus too much about mid game though. We haven't really got any CC on our team. Thresh could be an okay option here. Still wouldn't be perfect though, but it could be a viable option here. Yeah, we'll do Thresh. I need to quickly change my runes quickly. Do 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 do. Aftershock. I'm plating second wind. Go to nasty, and then we will go hex flash and cookies. That's awesome. Okay. There you go though, Vega into Alistair, I would die. And uh, Miss Swaggy, you are saying you are ill, right? I uh, hope you feel better soon. That's what I'm really concerned about now as well. My main like priority while, I'm, um, while I've got my free time is to make sure that I have videos like released ahead of time. Because the worst thing that is that I get ill and then I can't upload anything to YouTube and then it would be a disaster. I want to keep them keeping up the momentum. So I'm mean, trying to make sure I've got like a week ahead onto YouTube so that I can, you know, never drop a video kind of thing. It's a big sub as well. Thank you, Eve, for Good the tier three. Sub. Good night. You're going to bed? Wait, what? You're going to bed now? <laughs> Stay well, Eve. Thank you, man. Thank you for the tier three sub. Five months in a row, man. Stay safe, man. Sleep well. I would tuck you in if I could. Uh, and you said Living Torch. It's Living Torch. Oh, you're here. Oh, sorry, Living Torch, man. Get better soon. It's three days of class already. Oh, yikes. Yeah, that's going to suck, isn't it, coming back? But um, hopefully I can f take your, distract you for a couple of hours um, on you feeling yucky. So hopefully we can do that. Hopefully we can win some games. Ah, thank you, Eve. Okay, and hey, uh, Cherry, how you doing? Yeah, annoying, you got to go feed your dogs at your parents' house. Ah, oh. can't they wait a few hours? <laughs> Victor AD carry, could that work? We are about to find out. Probably not. It's going to be Trist, med, uh, Trist AD. <laughs> but Victor AD, uh, it could maybe work. I mean, most mages are at least semi-viable on the bot side. As long as there's a support that can sustain the lack of the early levels. In theory, at least anyway. Um, some mages are better than, than others. Victor, I've never seen that bot side, so... I couldn't comment on that properly. Um, okay, so there's... We've got TP topside plus Summoner Shard. So... Yeah, at least we've got some little macro play here that we can work around here. With the Urgot having TP. What else have we got? Oh, sorry, the Urgot's on the other team. I did this yesterday, didn't I? 
So yeah, Ergot's got TP on our side and we've got no TP on our team, so we've got to be careful of them out macroing us and split pushing and things like that. It's kind of greedy of the Vlad to go ignite top side, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, we're at a massive disadvantage already because of that. Shame that Lucian just didn't choose to go for the ward first. Hmm. I mean, if we can pull that off, I don't think it's going to work, is it? <clears throat> They're asking for too much on that, and they'd, they really are. That's too much to ask for. That's going to help find if the Zin Zhao does the, the scuttle. He might cheese through level 2, I don't know. But he's, the Zin's going to know that the Kha'Zix is doing the uh, our red buff after that. Hey TJ, how you doing? Thing is, I don't want to push too hard. Because if Zin Zhao does come down, which he could very well do so, Gonna put us in a little bit of a pickle. Okay, I'll take that any day. But I did I was hoping that Ignite would burn the flash. That's huge for us. Okay. Especially with the Alistair going straight down as well. Triss still has heal. But that's huge. I'm hesitant to go too far forward though. Once again, because of the Zen. <laughs> I had a feeling she was going to go like really wonky with her pathing there. I can flay the Alistair's headbutt. Best support stream out there. Keep up the good work. Wow. Thank you, R Skillman, for the 25 hand donation. The best support? I'm not sure about that, but I appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much. I'll definitely use my money wisely on Blackjack and, uh. <laughs> but thank you, man. I appreciate that. Alright, we need to. Zin's top side. I can't get too cocky with a play here. Okay, it's either down or up. Last time she went up, so she's mixing up a lot. I'm thinking next time she's gonna go straight line. There's usually a pattern that, that some people follow. The ones that are really hard to read are usually the new ones. <laughs> Thank you, your guts for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. Thank you. Welcome to the Berry Bush, dude. Don't forget to join Discord, link your Twitch and Discord together to get access to the Berry Bush channel and party for coaching sessions. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Triss still has heal. That cost me my flash, though. I was trying to hope... I was trying to get the Triss to do her leap. To interrupt it. But in doing so, that ended up costing me... I can't follow that up. Lucian isn't with me properly. Those were good uh, Kha'Zix pingbacks, ping actually. That was pretty helpful, actually. Oh! Well... Um... I think he maybe assumed I had my... I think he thought I had my... W up, my lantern. But it's still four seconds in cooldown. Get a control for the river. So top side's died. Kazix has died. 
Echoes died. A lot of deaths. Seems like Sin has contributed to everything then. Not sure that was entirely worth it for that Lucian. He still does have heal. I've got Ignite back up now. The Alice's Flash is going to be down just a little bit longer. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the donation and the tier 1 sub skill. Um, welcome to the Berry Bush. Don't forget to join Discord, link your Twitch and Discord together to get access to the Berry Bush channel and for uh, priority for coaching. I appreciate that. So this is going to try and semi-freeze the lane here. We're really far behind. Um, this is a problem. Big, 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 big problem. The echo is falling behind, so there's no mid lane pressure there either. So we have to be constantly aware that the enemy could easily roam down to here. Gotta just take it slow and just wait for that opportunity still. Trisana's holding back right now. Still have heal. And ignite. Alice's flash will be up shortly. We need to, yeah, we need to check it. Uh, control. Yeah. The enemy has no control left. That's the last one, unless the, well, the jungler, the Zen Sao has one. Whether or not he comes to put that down or not. That's a good ward to see if the Zen uses the blast cone over the dragon. It's a really nice ward. Zen Sao's top side. Yeah. Need a little bit more help than this. Please kill him. Okay. That hook now. Trist hit six there as well. That was um interesting circumstances. Tris has got her ulti, and they just did dragon to Zin Zao's bot side. Lucian's gonna take a lot of damage. Yeah, that's a shame. All right, well that gets me assist at least. A little bit of BM there actually cost Tristana her, kill, uh, her, uh, her life for no reason there at all. Thank God I chose uh, mobility boots there, otherwise there's no way I would have got there in time. Hmm, I mean I've got my all. Yeah, I can, I can die here. <gasps> Ali, you're an idiot, and I love you. Can't leave it for Lucian as much as I wanted to. I mean, he could have maybe thrown out a W. Should have just yanked that kind of minion there. Alright, well, so far it's going okay in our terms of the map. Everywhere else for us is not particularly amazing. He did pick up a Cloud Drake as well. Whew. Not bad for first game of the day, the day yeah? Okay, cool. We've got Victor 3 0, could be roaming down to bot side. I might have to get off this tower in a second. Ah, uh, it's too late. Ooh. Okay. It's a shame we can't pick up the tower there, though. Has to be on trying to do it next push, but the Zinzan's gonna try and prevent that from happening. Ooh, that extra tower hit? Is that enough? No, it's not. Kha'Zix might be... No. No, dude. He's got flash. This is nuts, dude. Okay. 
Hey, General. Um, it's the first game of the day so far. This is the first game today on my master account at the moment. It's a shame the uh, Vlad didn't have quite enough damage to get the kill on the Urgot and now he died actually. Crap. Oh dear. That might tilt Vlad off the face of the earth to be honest. That would probably be like really frustrating for me as well the way that Kha'Zix died. He should have just left it and just forced the Herald. In all honesty. His tower's low, we have to get first tower here to even be able to compete in mid game. If we don't get his extra bonus gold. Oh god. That's not enough. Kha'Zix is gonna jump in here. I'm in trouble. Well, they got the first tower. I'm just going to have to recall because we're going to lose even more stuff. Echo hasn't moved yet. Oh, come on, man. <sighs> dear, 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 dear. That's, uh... I don't know what Kha'Zix is talking about, glitches, I don't know what he's talking about. Considering they were both incredibly low HP and I was tanking Tower a little bit there as well for the Kha'Zix, I'm kind of surprised that we, uh, we didn't get a kill there. That was good, he did... That Alistair, man. <laughs> Sad thing is he actually might get a kill here, Lucian kind of needs to do auto attack here. Mm. Wow. Game's going from uh, bad to worse now. Did you channel the hex after Q land? Um, I'm not sure what you mean by that. I'm sorry. Well, we just lost three towers. We could have got first tower bot side, but tower dive was a failure, I guess. This um, Kazakh is picking up a reasonable amount of kills, but he doesn't really seem to know how to use it. Either that or he's trying a little bit too hard and making mistakes from that. The next trick is an ocean drake. Oof, this is going to be difficult. Victor's 5-0. Because even if I land a hook on Victor, Tristan is still going to have the damage to clean up. Vitality versus RNG prediction. RNG. I would have said Vitality if um, Vitality could have beaten Cloud9. It's not enough damage coming through here. Take the lantern, dude. Victor coming down as well. No, it's not. He's still mid. We have to get this. I think his Lucian's just going to fall off as well later into the game. Trisana's is only going to get stronger as well. Oh, come on, dude. Victor's coming down for sure. Yeah, peekaboo. I mean, I've got a lad. Okay, Argot's coming down. Argot might be here. We can't defend this tower. This tower's gone. That is too slow to rotate down, down here. Everyone on their team is very, very fed. It's the kind of game where we just have to rely on the enemies to make mistakes to make any play here. Our spare fast zone lane is a serious six combined, so we have no split push pressure either, especially with no TP. 
Where's the EU love? We lost to Cloud9. <laughs> so, RNG, we should be able to sweep it up. I think in my pickums, I only had Fnatic to go to go through to the uh, knockout stage. Got to kind of semi disengage this. Alright, got Alistair here. He's gonna have to hold soon. Just keep him here quick. You just kill him off really, really quickly here. Ah, uh, that is gonna be annoying. Who was it that died? Kazix. Baskin's gonna save the Urgot. I was thinking about flashing over there and queuing in. Oh, Urgot is still here. Can't do anything else from that. I don't want to keep chasing here, to be honest. Alright, at least we won two for one for that from that. One solution is like he's starting to get a black cleaver. That will help not very much, to be honest, actually. There isn't that much AD on our team that will benefit from that. Hmm. That glitch though? Yeah, I know man. <laughs> Those glitches are too many. Kappa Kappa. So we'll pick up Knight's Vow for this game. They've got three ADs and only one AP, although their AP is their most fed. It's, um... We'll take the Knight's Vow and then we'll rotate towards the Zeke's to give me a little bit of them on, Lucian a little bit more damage. <clears throat> So we clean out a couple of wards there. Baron's up, not up for another two minutes yet, so we just need to make sure we maintain our own jungle side vision. Top side is pretty dark right now, so yeah. Um, have to ward for our flank here. Once again, we just need to let them make the mistake. That could have been a nice hook there. Bad's not actually quite here, actually. That would have been quite bad if I went in there. Hey, Daddy, how you doing? Hmm. I don't like this play. No. This is not a good play. Bad's dead. That was very, very, very silly from Echo. No, don't bring in the E. But <sighs> Luckily there isn't a Baron up right now. We still can't defend this. Yeah, the, both the zero five and the zero three wanted to go yeah, they're engaging into them. That's not how this works. Lucian's doing a reasonable job here. It's a five-man flare or four-man one. Is that enough time? That Alistair might die. I actually forgot, like, because it's not 20 minutes into the game, we actually have no home guards, so they're not coming out of the base fast enough. Forgot about that. Felt like longer in the game. This time that completely. I just assumed everyone just had home guards and would be zooming in there. Okay. Hey, Despair, how you doing, man? Hey, Lost Dane. Uh, evening. Nice to have nice set of key and watching you on the side. <laughs> well, hopefully your set of key games went, went well. Alright, so we've got Baron coming up right now. Like, the only form of DPS coming out of our team is the Lucian and the, the Kazakhs right now. If Echo does another city play like that, where he thinks he can just YOLO in 1v5, then we definitely have no chance this game. Need to get my Night Spell on the Lucian as well. Try and regain any vision that I can. We need blue trinkets. That's the Echo dead again. 
Zin Zhao is looking semi low on HP, but they do have an Ocean Drake. Now is probably the only time I'm going to get to get any temporary wards in the Baron's side. Does any Alistair actually have wards? Can't believe this Alistair might win this game. Uh, <laughs> Alright, they don't actually have a control ward at the Baron, so that's nice. No. This uh, got is super out of position. Right. Here. Okay. Right, we need to work from that now. <sighs> Although he is shepherd towards my team, the Zin Zhao did die because he went and had to go up to dodge my hook. Alistair will die here. So that's three for us. That Victor did use his ult. Okay, that's four for us. Can't Baron forget everything else. Oh, Kha'Zix, what are you doing? That's my punishment for not buying any magic resist. That Victor just snapped me. Um, if Triss cleans up one by one here, it's not enough, is it? Jeez. I'm actually just going to mute this Kha'Zix. Holy moly. We lose Baron now, I think. I think that's Baron gone. All they had to do was just take tier 1 tower and Drake, and they just went, like, crazy. He's so dead man. Like, there's no one here either. Like, the Lucian... It's a you can't yank them through the wall. Look, dude, you're gonna have to steal it, man. Nice! I landed out the uh, the echo there. Oh. oh my god. Right, that buys us four minutes. Defend the tower though. We can't leave our base. What are they doing? Get out of there. Lucian has his ulti. No deaths, we lost Kha'Zix. Both the Echo and the uh, Kha'Zix jumped in and the Echo took the Lantern. I don't like the Echo being so far out to be honest. Oh god. Echo, you absolute... No. Oh, the Alice was going to jump in there. Echo's trolling super hard right now. Okay, I got ulti missed. We have to defend it out here. Got head butted away. I picked a dig get clipped there by my ulti. Lucian survived though. <sighs> How's Echo doing? He still hasn't got the inhib. Has he got the inhib at least? I can't believe we actually managed to defend that. Okay, well actually it may have been worth it. That was incredibly stressful. We should have probably lost the game right then. Right there. Yeah, like we should have lost the game easily. They messed up really, really hard. Um, they were way stronger than us. I think a couple of things we're really, really lucky about. The uh, got missed. His ulti, I think that's probably the biggest thing there. If Virgot actually had hit his ulti, we, we would be done, though. Re-engage from me and the Vlad was okay. 
a little bit desperate though. Okay, we actually got two tower spots side and, a, and an inhib for our low tier, mid tier three, and we lost it inhib. I think on the whole, it's, um, yeah. In hindsight, that was nice, but we should have lost that. <laughs> also, bot inhib's worth more than mid at this point because it kind of distracts pull someone much further away from the map rather than from mid as well. Ifari Sin. Tom is great in pro play. Zodok is really bad because of the W. People leaving their W is a super big problem. We've got to end this game soon though. We've got the... Um... Oh crap. This is undead. I had to basically sacrifice myself there to prevent Urgot from going in there. Just... Don't even think about re-engaging. They should think about re-engaging very soon though. Like, they gotta... Poke... This Kha'Zix poke is pretty decent. They're gonna have to stop stop the recall. Oh my god, we get one tower. This is huge. We might get two. Super creeps, come on. Oh my god, now they're all split. Baron's not up for ages though. We got two uh, Nexus turrets. We've got to push it down mid now. We've got to go. We gotta go all the way now. Urgot and Alistair are dead. Urgot's like super important. Yeah. Oh my god. What are those two Muppets doing, man? Oh my god. <laughs> what are they doing? But why? First game of the dead, don't need the stress. Holy moly. At least Baron isn't gonna be spawned. It hasn't spawned. Because if Baron had been taken then by them, we they would just be the end, man. Right, the their bottom hip's about to respawn. This is why I get grey hairs now. I'm literally getting grey hairs. It's just because of the games like this. Holy moly. Might have to steal another Baron. The thing is, Lucian is starting to scale off. Don't even go that way. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, Baron's in 45 seconds. We need to set up the vision for that. Also, we're kind of lucky on the timing when they killed Elder Drake. Like, they killed at like 28, like 30 or something. No, they killed at 28, 57. So it means there's going to be another normal Drake before Elder spawns. If they killed it at 29 minutes, then Elder would spawn. No one's mid side. This is really bad for my team right now. The, uh, the macro play from my team is horrendous right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Might have to flash this. <gasps> Don't go in here. I can zone them out here with my wall. Another hook. Good. Right, ba 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 We've kind of got to force them to come into the Baron here. They have no wards. 
There's three top side right now. Oh, we need more DPS. Half HP. Echo can maybe just delay them a tiny bit here. I need the help with the delaying. Nice. My land, my hook put them off there. Oh my god, this is still taking a while. Oh, Echo actually did something. Just kill the Alistair. He flashed. Okay. Please don't carry on. Should just go by quickly. <laughs> this game, man. If this game was in Worlds, everyone would just be typing WTF. Out of Fiesta. Neither team deserves to win this. Right, we, we should just push it down. I think we have to win it by minions still. We have not got a good 5v5. We're just making... They're just making mistakes and we're playing it off that. Ow. Oh, it's already half my HP already. How much armor have I got? I've got 259 armor and Triss just shredded through it. Oh, I've got kind of like split away though. Wow. Alright, that's the Alistair dead. It's safe though. Just let the minions do. I don't trust these guys. Okay, it's instead. Gotta keep an eye on Tristana. Lucian did a really nice job there, actually. I'm missing. I'm not even doing anything. Alright, well, I should have trusted them more because the Yaku actually did a nice job there. <laughs> he went from zero to hero. Weird. Maybe his brother quickly popped onto his uh, account or something. <laughs> that game was so stupid. I played so nice during laning phase thing. Couple of really nice hooks during that game. Didn't do anything in that last fight though at all. So yeah. Alright. Okay. Plus 15 up here. I'll take it I guess.